Americans Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, June 27th. Um, on the agenda, we will talk about GSOC update, um, the project that Chris is working on, on strengthening our community efforts and recognizing financial contributors. And Bruno, I will ask your help to talk about that a little bit, if that's okay. Thank you. Um, so for GSOC, we are continuing with our office hours on a weekly basis. Progress can be followed via the link in here. And then um, we are scheduling our Jenkins online meetup. This is the midterm version for July 11th. And um, our also is approaching is our midterm evaluations that are due from mentors on July 12th. So um, if anybody is interested in obtaining more information, just go to that link in the GDOC and there's plenty of information there. And so for uh, strengthening community efforts, again, thank you, Chris, for driving this effort. Um, there's been lots of back and forth and lots of work on your end. So mm -hmm. we appreciate you a ton. Okay. And um, do you want to talk anything about this and where you are? Are things keeping you up at night? Oh, no, it's, uh, but if you can scroll all the way down okay. to the last page. So, uh, or to the preview, even. So, um, if you go to the view deployment for the last one, so we scroll it down a little bit. Uh, go down a little bit? Uh, up a bit, up a bit. Okay. View deployment. Yeah, the last, last one. No, 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 uh, down just a little bit, the la latest uh, view deployment second. button. Yes. Yeah. View deployment. Ah. On the right. Yeah. yeah. A view deployment. Up a bit, up a bit. Ah, <laughs> sorry. You make it. Yeah, you got sorry. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have an excuse for 8.30 um, now. <laughs> it's at the bottom. So we can look at yes. it. Like, there's a bug right now, a new fix after this call. That's just the... Um, to the to the and then the extra end in this case I should remove it because I, I couldn't see it before because I didn't have the data to 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 see it but um if you can click on um right now it's only one repo so it looks all right but mm -hmm. I got a question for you guys what if we have um three repos do we put them on this all on the same line or separate lines it also depends on whether it's mobile view or desktop view or tablet mm. view yeah that's a good question yeah um, like, have you uh, have you wanted it to be on on one line but i i have some reservation about that hmm. because that would make it um it, we can do it that way too it's fine but um it would be kind of it would make it too wide i think mm -hmm. yeah at least for the mobile version yeah this is this one works for any view, mm -hmm. but if we want to fit all the web posts in the same line, if some names are longer, then yeah. that it might present us with some issues. Mm -hmm. All right. So yes, fine for one line per repo uh, for me. Okay. Thank you. And of course you are discovering bugs along the line because you never know what kind of data you're gonna get it's <laughs> randomly it's, generated it's a truth yeah. but you don't know how many repos the name of the contributor and so on so you discover bugs day after day after day because that data changes if, if you click on the username or maybe the full name in this case it brings you to another tab with the user's github profile that's cool mm -hmm. So this is the user full name, and the, they have um, a, a username that's like ends with ninety nine. So if they have a full name, we display a full name. If they mm -hmm. don't, display the GitHub username. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. What do you think, Bruno? Yeah, uh, fine with me. That's great. Yeah, let me fix the bugs, and then uh, I'll get. Um, should we wait until? Until um, until Mark, uh, Kevin comes back to review it, or should 
like no one. i think we should yeah. merge it as soon as it's good enough to be merged Mm -hmm. I think I think I think I think Alicia has to has to has the authority to uh, to to approve the PR later once I fix the bug. Okay. Yeah, so we can do it for me. Otherwise, it's just Kevin or Hervé. But I don't think Hervé wants to do it. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't approve it, but that wouldn't change a thing. That wouldn't yeah. allow us to merge the pull request. Yeah, I saw it. You already approved it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay so so we're okay so let's say if there's more than one uh, uh like show, repos um, or we are we we're listing them all out uh, more until than three less than four and more okay. than one yeah. yeah okay otherwise it's just a number yeah. yeah, it that I think that sounds great. Yeah, I think we can motion next week. So I'll I'll wait until um uh, for a few more days for me to get more data and to test it more. Mm -hmm. Make mm -hmm. sure there's no more bugs before we can merge it. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I think I think this is really awesome. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for your work on this. I I know it's it it's been an uphill battle. <laughs> I know it hasn't been easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much. We're we're almost there, right? Okay. Cool. And then um so recognizing financial contributors. So what we had in the past was just uh well what we currently have is just the major contributors that's on our homepage. If I can go there. Oh. Okay. That's here. We were hoping to be able to um, recognize other contributors that are making, um, you know, different sizes of donations, if you will, um, other than the big donators here. Um, and so, Bruno, you have an update here and I'll let you talk about that. Yeah, so I made just a proof of concept after we talked about that two weeks ago. So I first tried to grab the data that was in the page itself on the L LWC, I think, uh, website where you can make a donation to Jenkins. And then mm -hmm. with the help of Stefan Mel, I was able to find that there was a hidden API that uh, returns some JSON data. So that, that was much, much easier than trying to parse HTML. Um, so in the end, I made a um, um, small uh, set of bash script that will generate a clean JSON file containing the list of the um, uh, donors to the Jenkins project. So I thought it would be part of the Jenkins.io website somewhere. So mm -hmm. my puck just create a JSON file inside the underscore data uh, directory in the Jenkins.io GitHub repo. And then I have a process, a GitHub action that uses update CLI to keep that up to date. For the time being, I have chosen to do that once a month the first day of the month. Uh, if ever somebody had given the month previous, we would have a change in the JSON data. So for the time being, nothing is displayed on the um, Jenkins.io website. I even haven't um, created a pull request yet because I wanted to discuss that with you. And then it's just data. It's nothing that could be shown directly on the web page on Jenkins.io. So we would have to do something on the front end in a way or another. I chose Jenkins.io, but if you feel like there is another website in the Jenkins infra that could host that, just let me know. Um, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe too much to ask. Can I help out with the front end? Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can. Uh, frankly, I don't want to touch front end because that would be chaos. Um, but yeah, of course, I thought of doing two pull requests for the timing. The first one being creating a first 
a JSON file into the underscore data uh, directory. So just to create the data, so it's there. Then the second one that would update it thanks to update CLI and uh, GitHub Action. And then we could make a third one uh, that would use this data in order to produce um, st static, yeah, I guess so, static web page for the Jenkins IO website. And I think the two first ones should be easily accepted because nothing changes on the website. But the, the third one, maybe people would chime in and discuss that. I think of course of Mark Waite, Basil Crow, um, that had ideas on how to organize a sponsor's page or pages. Okay. But yes, of course you're welcome. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so then, uh, uh, Bruno, then the next steps. So the next step be... for me is just create two PRs uh, so that the data is in the Jenkins.io website. And then whenever Chris has some time, uh, they could propose another PR with just one new page creation or something. But I think this mm -hmm. one could take some time before getting merged because people will have different point of views regarding where this should appear, how it should look like, and so on. So the difficult part, the hard part, is on Chris's shoulders, like often, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think, I'm thinking that for, so I'm on Jenkins.io homepage at the moment, and mm -hmm. perhaps we can add like a link here, which link us to another page um that spells out kind of like the adoptium page that I think I shared last time okay I, I I I don't know I'm just thinking off the top of my head I don't have it here but so, what would that be something easier to pull off um I think I remember like um it's not too difficult to do to implement fundamentalize. So it should be okay. I remember seeing it last time. It depends well, on what, what what specifications you have. So you're better to have to uh, to have an issue to track it and to write out uh, what the specs are for me to um to to implement. It. Okay, uh, so Bruno, I'm gonna have to help your help to on Two. this one. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's think of this some more, and then we'll we can talk about it a little bit more um, next time that we meet. Okay. Are uh, both of you okay with me creating the two first PRs? Uh, that will get the JSON file in Jenkins.io and the up automatic update of this file. Are you okay with that? Can I yes. yep. progress? Yes, yeah, please. Cool. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and then we'll take it from there then. Okay. Um, anything else that we need to discuss? Um, I think it's like, should we talk about a little bit about GSOC, um, Mentor Summit? Oh, yes. Just yes. briefly report, like, what are the logistics for it? It's like, now I think we have one person on the wait list, mm -hmm. and I think Alex is going on our behalf. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's quite nice. But I think in the future, we may want to, um, we want to make an announcement to all the mentors so they, they mm -hmm. can, can make a decision whether to join or not, uh, depending on um, whether they're interested, whether they can yeah. afford to, you know, given the, 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 the like, of limited funding. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's a good point. Um, yeah. Definitely next time. Yeah. Please do remind me that I need to communicate that out to all the mentors about that. Yeah. So um, I may be biased as I am a mentor and a co-admin also, but I think I received an email proposing me to go like everyone, but is it like every admin or like every mentor? So the mentors are already 
knowing about that, right? I don't think we know, like, the mentors, they don't know it. Maybe oh, all the know, but crap. mentors, they don't know it. That's why it's like, not everyone knows. And Shu Fei uh, reads by it from the G-Sock announcements, not from us. Hmm. That's why he was asking, like, can I join the waitlist? And he said explicitly to like, um, he didn't ask for funding information or anything like that. But he did ask, yeah. uh, I just want to join the waitlist. And he was quite eager to join. I see. Yes. Yeah, so I think the challenge that I've seen in the past was because the funding is quite small, yeah, at I least think from thousand dollars or something like that. So it won't yeah. cover the plane ticket and the hotel. Mm -hmm. but I think I think Shiva is working too, so it should be all right, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, should I follow up with him, Chris, and see? Mm, I think it's all right because he he already filled out the form. Okay. Yeah, that's where he, I I know. That's all I know though. Okay. Yeah, I I I also want to be clear with them upfront with regards to budgeting, uh, yeah. with money wise because the project isn't funding. Um, a Jenkins isn't funding um travel for this. Okay. And. You know, and the stipend from Google is a thousand dollars for this person. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So he didn't ask for it. So he 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 said very very um very sternly to this. I just want you on the wait list. That's all he said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. I'll follow up with Chave to make sure he he's clear on expectations. Okay. Um, and also for next year, please keep me straight and remind me to 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 reach out to all mentors when the time comes. Couldn't we put that in the roadbook? Uh, so yes. So we, we don't can, yeah. forget? Yes, yes. I will Thank you. I will do oh, that. Yeah, of course you will. Mm. <laughs> Tomorrow <laughs> seems so far away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? No, thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. You know where to find me. So thank you again for everything. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.